Come on. Come on. <laughs> Don't tell me you're not dressed. Well, if he's undressed. I can. So what I taught you. Hmm? Does what I taught you make sense? It made, to you? it made a lot of sense for real. It made a lot of sense because there seemed to be a lot of misinterpretation and misconception about this whole thing. And in the actual sense of it, even I mean, apart from biblical, I mean, think about it. You can imagine getting married to somebody you don't know anything about, like when it comes to the most important aspect of life. You know. Sorry, listen, from, listen to what somebody said here. Mm -hmm. Sorry about this, Victor melan official he said you don't interpret scripture with sense you are just like your parents they interpret scripture with nonsense <clears throat> most of the interpretation of scripture that you ascribe to holy spirit is actually stupidity there's no <clears throat> holy that it like that to you people it is the only dose of former generation that did not apply proper hermeneutics to scriptural understanding. They just took it like that and with their best. Let me give you an example. Samaria. These are all scriptural interpretations. Um, when Christ was born, some people visited him with gifts. Who visited mm -hmm. him? <clears throat> the three wise men. Were God born. bless you. Do you know there is nowhere in scripture that said the wise men were three? nowhere it does not exist because they said they brought three gifts the only those of those generations just sat down and said, you know what three gifts each person bearing one gift one gift mm -hmm. that is how they interpreted it meanwhile 10 people can bear three gifts it speaks of more than one person and three gifts but because they were writing a nursery rhyme those days, they just said three wise men bringing three gifts. Now, so it takes become doctrine. <laughs> now, take become doctrine. Christ was born where? Where was he born? Bethlehem. Inside a manger. Have you ever seen that's a manger? What we, that's what we are told. I Have you ever seen there. There? Yeah, I've seen, I mean, based on our Catholic interpretation, what the usually what they, kind of... The stable. A manger is a little jar mm -hmm. where the, the food that animals eat. Animals eat. A woman cannot enter inside the manger. It's, I mean, how would a woman even lie on that thing? A mother. It, what, they, what the scripture actually says is... It must have he must have thorns. And mm -hmm. laid in the manger. In the manger. After giving birth to the baby, the baby was laid in the manger. He was not giving birth to inside the manger. These are examples of how all of those that don't want to apply sense to scripture, all of them are given power to interpret what they don't understand. And when you try to confront them, they will tell you, don't use sense to interpret scripture. Please, what is it that you use to interpret scripture? Stupidity. No, knowledge. Wisdom is different from knowledge. Who wants to learn will learn. Let me we'll ask you. Every day. During the time of Christ, imagine me and you were engaged and we slept together and they took us to Christ that we have committed a sin. Please tell me what the judgment of Christ will have been. You have to marry me. Finish! Finish! Go on, mm -hmm. you are still upstairs. Then if exactly. Christ now... I'll say that, okay, although the law says you must marry her, let me warn you that you guys should not sleep together because the Holy Spirit is going to be angry with you. Then we now have a proper scriptural construct under which we can file such cases. Mm -hmm. They know they use Holy Spirit judge this matter. Now, Lord, they take judge him. And this is what the law says. Let Samaria eat. It's not, we are not, it's not, we are not doing both. Let the poor. <laughs> I was so, <laughs> so no, somebody was saying Samar. Le, um, but let's this make a lot of things because, to be honest, we were filled with a lot of misinformation, and I'm we just kept moving with it. This make a lot Don't of things. Daddy freeze. How are you, my darling sister? Let I me mean, first of all arrange myself. <laughs> Oh, it's fine. I want to be fine. So, first of all, 
Daddy Freeze. Yes. I have a few questions, right? I I just came back from work and I took my time to hear because I really wanted to know this from the biblical part of it, right? And I truly believe in your teachings, right? Now, if a virgin is being laid by a man, if caught, the man should pay the bride price, right? Yes. Now, in this our time and generation, it is very, extremely, extremely difficult. That means how many bright prize will men end up paying, number one? Can I answer your question first before you ask the okay, second? Okay, go ahead. Only virgins had the right price. So okay, the now... The first that person brings me to Bible. you. That that brings me to me. That brings me telling you that even the Bible, for there to be a virgin, then there was, there was, there was non virgins. You know what I mean? I think for those that were caught, right? How about that? Because no, not all this of them thing were is for that law is for those that that are caught in the arts. Right, exactly. But I'm saying, for you to make a provision for something, then there is actually, do you understand, the opposite of it. If you're saying any virgin that was caught, then there was actually a provision, and the Bible actually records, or recorded that there are still people that will be caught or not caught, regardless they are they are not virgins. You know what I mean? Yes. Do you understand what I mean? Now, 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 you see, the problem with scripture is, yeah. they, write here, they write a little yeah. bit here, they write a little bit here. Right. You will be virgin. Right. And no the bride price. Exactly. Of yeah. course, it's a virgin. Yeah. That's the so new. Okay, good. So, so for the, you now waste that story. I'm going to See, for all that saw the story on Instablog, including me, I saw it today. So my question is, our parents, a lot of things worked for them, the olden days, right? A lot isn't working for us now. What, what works for our parents isn't working for us right now. Now, that guy purely was following the old teachings and the Sunday school teachings and everything that we all grew up with. Mm -hmm. And this thing happened to him, right? Me, for one. I'm not ashamed. I can never marry a man I've not sampled. It's not possible. <laughs> I wonder. <laughs> it's, not, it's not even possible. <laughs> Do you understand? Now, what <laughs> What has he gained in this, in this whole thing? Nothing. He has wasted his time. Now, let me even tell you, love isn't enough in marriage. But you see, the SEF, uh, the SEF means a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. Let me tell you, a lot of men wake up in the morning. They are so upset for no reason. They will use the word to tell you, oh, I woke up from the from the wrong side of the bed. It happens to women too. But do you know what that S-E-X can do? When, if, when you're even upset, when you're tensed, do you understand? So imagine somebody that cannot do it. Imagine somebody that does not know your body type. Nothing. You people just from the bleeds, just from as strangers, just come and say, oh, you know what? Let's, let's, let's be the mother Mary. No, Mother Mary was not even, she wasn't a virgin. Uh, well, she had the, 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 the son, which was Jesus, right? But what I'm saying is, if we want to follow that way, then a lot will have too many broken marriages from what is going on right now. We'll have too many broken marriages. So me and what I would advise people around me, know the man. Know him. Me, you can't even... Before me and you talk married, we don't, we know each other. 
we know each other. So at the point of what you're saying about vagines and pain of bright price, my dear, if we're going by that teaching right now, then no man will even remain to pay br bright price because <laughs> we're, we're, they, if one man they sleep with or one girl they sleep with ten, how who? So it's it's all confusing. Who won't pay, pay bright price? Who no one pay bright price? Do you understand? Do you, you see, understand my point? I understand okay. your point. And there's something I always tell people. Yeah. The reasons why people don't give the leeway. Yeah. It's like drinking out in script. But the problem is some people don't know where to draw the limits. So because of those people that will misbehave, they will yeah. tell you everyone, don't drink. Yeah. Not that Christ drank, all the apostles drank. Mm -hmm. In moderation, moderation, eating excessively is as much of a sin a as sin. drunkenness. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. But you see, because of drink driving, because of the way people behave when they're drunk, our logical sense just said, you know what, close that chapter totally. But that's not what the scriptures the say. Mm -hmm. Not what it says. You see, teach people with conscience. You see, those days, we were all taught harshly. I have a 20-year-old daughter. I have an 18-year-old daughter. Am I going to tell them to marry until they marry? If I tell them, are they going to listen to me? I can sit down and coax them and tell them while you are in university, just manage and hold yourself, at least so you finish your university. I can tell them, that, look, until you find that man that is suitable for you, that you want to be serious with, don't just sleep with anyone. Don't just go and be raising your exactly. on yeah. But right. that I would tell you specifically that this before marriage is bad. What did I abstain from marriage? No. Do you understand what I'm saying? Why yeah. am I holding and that I could not hold? Right. So here's the thing. There's wisdom in everything that you do. And that is why I gave a clear scriptural interpretation of Qumran and Pharisees yeah. over toilet. Yeah. Qumran said, because the Bible says you must not go out of the camp and the toilet must be outside the camp, on the Sabbath, you will not go to the toilet. And they were not going to the toilets. The Pharisees, on the other hand, sat down with the scriptures. But let's use our brain. The toilet was outside the camp. Okay. And we are not allowed to go out. Let us but include... The says, uh, he's not right. profitable to direct. Which, and who? at that point, they knew that they needed more solution than what they had. Exactly. You know what I yeah. mean? To minimize the, the incidents, they had to bring up the laws. So, so laws for me are bound to change. Men make exactly. all the laws. Laws are being mm -hmm. made for men and governed by men. And that is one problem Nigerian constitution is having. You understand? So this thing started long ago, long time ago. Me, I will say it again. I don't have a daughter right now. I have a son. I will not tell my son otherwise. Me, I will not practice it. What that guy did, to an ex too dumb, too but, dumb. But yeah, exactly. That was. Let me just say a little about that story. Um, I understand. I don't know what's up with the girl, but I know there are medical conditions that can, you know, lead to such. The lady is wrong in the sense that she lived in the seats. The lady was not open enough. I guess maybe there were bridges. There were bridge of communication because I don't know oh, how you would on purpose. She knew how. How That's what I'm saying. It, it could be. Wait. I wouldn't. I wouldn't know. She was deceitful because I don't know how you would have such a medical condition and you never bothered to. You Let never... me tell you something. Is it everything that you tell the person you want to marry? No, now that kind of thing. Tell the person you want that to marry. Thing? If you are the banji, you are the banji. I'm just yes. giving. 
look for back. Yeah, so that I can run. Daddy, freeze. Let me tell you something. For me, <laughs> dating you and I get on banjo, you suppose don't know him. You suppose don't see him because I suppose don't display him. Eh. Uh, but you see, you something understand? I am about to, no daddy freeze. I'm soon getting married, right? I told you, me and you had this discussion. Now, so that, I don't, same, huh? that same guy we talked about. No, I better not come for my hand yet. Wait, no, we can talk. We can talk. <laughs> daddy freeze, not put whatever. Not put, that's why I should have been. Yeah, me, oh, of course. For me to get to that next level step, we don't sample. No? We already know. I know since I'm waiting, I feel take I can accommodate this for the rest of my life. You know what I mean? Because for me, where I'm coming from, I can't even cheat. You know why? Because they have some gods and laws governing that. That uh, so I won't be the one changing it. All you would do is just to stay off, you know, extramarital affairs, which I won't do. So. For me to stay with one man, you have I have to know. Do you understand? Now, mm -hmm. for the other level you said, I would tell you with my food, everybody I've dated, they know the level of my body, even if that's if I have. So I don't need to tell them again. You know what I mean? I don't I... need to tell them. But any man I'm getting married to, for the, the simplest secret of me, I will tell him. If I have any medical condition, I will tell him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no matter how I drag it, you see that a day to our wedding, I will tell you everything. Why so would you, you wait know, a day to the wedding? <laughs> no, I, no matter how I drag my foot. Okay, but why would you wait a, a day to the wedding? No, when what I'm has already been done. Wait, if waiting a day to the wedding can save you and I, is it not better than you getting married like this guy's situation. He got married the, the first night of the wedding. She refused he, to touch her. Then the, look, the two of them needs to be blamed. I blame him, I blame the girl, the lady. I no, blame I, the two of them. I don't blame the guy. He just he was really why don't you blame I mean what are you get what what's the essence of courtship if you don't discuss intimate things? Are yes, you just gonna sit by talking about sister Vas? I mean, what, no, what were they discussing the three years that we are cutting? They no, were talking about they, Bible they scriptures. Discussed. No, huh? they discussed, but they, dis they discussed. But the problem was there was no intercourse. There was no intimacy. That's what I'm saying. If they had, they, if, if they had discussions, what kind what of discussions were they having? Different. No, discussion is different from intimacy now. Mm. You know, that's, discussion is different from intimacy, yes. But there, is, there are certain discussions you have with someone. I mean, you discuss intimate things, right? My dear, you're an evil girl, I could tell. Mm -hmm. There are things if you want to keep from a man, if you like, discuss intimacy, discuss everything, my dear, you will still keep it from a man. You know, you not agree? A thing, not a thing like that. that not a medical condition. Exactly, outside. that. No, I was, the first time I said, it's me, I cannot keep such a thing. But you are saying you're blaming the guy. Why? Are you I blame the, the yeah, I blame the guy because Where? he chose to be a caliphate. He chose to leave things like that he would have discussed. I mean, what was he thinking? Marriage of all things. What? I mean, these are no. certain things that people shouldn't miss to talk no, about. I have a question. If oh. you're yes, getting and then you people discuss, no. Mm -hmm. my no, um, whatever, intimacy. Will you one day want to take off his pants just to confirm the information he has given to you? Okay, let me just answer you with a little story. I remember one time in UK, some years yeah. ago in UK, there was this guy that was trying to get married to me based on recommendation. Right. So I realized that he was always shy. One time I went to his house because he had returned from Nigeria. I was supposed to help him because his water, his heater wasn't working. I was going to get him some hot water I bought. So when I got to the bathroom, if you see the way he had to, you know, like, he just flings and used the towel to cover what, I mean, I wasn't expecting to see anything, but the reaction, that got me wondering, what could he be hiding? What is wrong with him down there? I was only trying to give him extra water. What's he hiding? To be honest with you, that got me curious. I went home, I discussed that with my sister. My sister and I wondered, like, what could this guy be hiding? So 
so did I you will tell you what it is. I will tell. Sorry. Did you find out? I found out. Yes, it's not I, something I can tell you right now. But I never found out what that was. But what I was like, what? hello. What <laughs> That it's, it's, either, it's, it's either is like this, like a, no, like a peanut, I'm saying, or it's, it's not far, passionate. He's far from that. I don't know if he's hearing me wherever he is. I don't know who may have shown. But I didn't mention his name. That he had yeah. like. Then I realized that was one. That's not the only thing. No, we like. It's like we were gonna get a bit intimate, but not inside. I mean, like you know what it's like when you hug somebody. Like when you drop me off, I would realize like I would feel. I mean. I don't know what it is, but I was bad. I was the bad girl there. So I was the one trying to know what, I became curious to know what is down there that he didn't want me to know. So one time I felt something that didn't seem right to me. I wondered more, I became more curious. So I kept on pushing. No, but you know you did not tell us what you saw in the bathroom though. I'll tell you what that was. He had some kind of, I don't know if those were genitalia wax or whatever that we are spanking and all the rest of them, like infection, you know, like I'm telling you, so you understand what I'm saying? Times you push. You have to push. So when I, I mean, then when I'm like, what? So you push. If you're interested in something, you push. The, the, fact, that the, person, the fact the person don't bring up such conversation is the more reason why you have to. Why you, I mean, that should motivate you to, you know, be curious to search for that, to know what that, whatever it is. I mean, this is somebody who's coming to you. This is somebody you intend to spend the rest of your life with. You don't just put certain things aside because the world we live in now is the, is the 21st century. A lot of things are, are going wrong every day. So that was it. That's what I found out it was. But I don't <laughs> understand. Do you know there are a lot of marriages that got broken, but they could not, especially the lady, uh, in fact, both sides, could not actually come out to tell their own parents or their close family that it was because of the S-E-X. You know what I mean? And that's why mm. we need to keep talking about it because this is, I mean, people tend to keep that aspect of life behind. They I've don't want to talk friend, about it. I've had a friend that, that uh, broke her marriage. She went out. She started giving different excuses. After a few years, she told me, she said, this was the reason I could not cope. And I asked her a question. I said, hold on. You didn't sample before you started. She said, <laughs> She may uh, have, but then she didn't know that there would be something sweet outside. <laughs> ex ex That's why you need to take a book and write down what you like and how you like it. That is Discuss it. If you don't get it the way you want it, talk about it. Discuss Daddy it. Please. Talk about it. Daddy what? Please. I'm glad you guys are airing your opinions and all that. I want to bring one or two more people. I don't know what happened to Instagram. The comments just froze. So I can't seem to get comments. I'm trying to even watch on another um, handle, but I can't seem to get uh, this. So we're rounding off right about now. Um, let me see who else I can bring. Miss Thickness. I don't know. I've never had this problem before. Uh, who else wants to join us in this live? Please feel free to indicate. Yeah, trying to you're trying a couple of times as in i can't even i don't know what's wrong instagram just froze all the comments what instagram just froze all the comments i don't even know if i can add somebody i thought to you did because i saw it from here as well mm. I, I think we can maybe just yeah just end end it and probably i don't That's know right. Um, oh, do I well, well to... I'm leaving you guys now and then take good care of yourself. All right, all right, right. yeah, all right, sis. all right, all right, Ali, take good okay. care of yourself and God yes, bless. Put down the Thank Instagram you. back again, okay, so, and now have more contributions. So if you're watching and you can see, I'm gonna end and come right back. Okay. All right.